Hey, yo, E-King Fight News. Back at it. We're checking out this fight. And this is out of Japan. Happened, um, it's happened last week. So we're going to check this shit out. Let's get it in. チャレンジャータ頂上決戦の中ですブラフのトランクスがタイトルまで一方村崎のトランクスが三局のロシの首位中です。まずは放送席ですけど、チャンピオン吉野にとってはプロ六連勝四ケロ。三者凡退になりまし
それでは最後に改めて、まあ、2018年最高のスタートとなりました今後の吉野選手の目標を聞かせてくださいそうですねとりあえず今日本、あのー、ベルトは僕,が僕のもんなんで、まああのー、今年はずっと防衛して,していきたいですはい All right, there you go. Great fight. Easy one round knockout. And that was Suishiro Yoshino. Yoshino got a first round KO over in Japan. Shout out to him. Check out a replay, real quick. Let's go back. Let's check out a replay. Real quick. Alright, let's let's take it to mute and let's check this shit out, man. Good combination, strong right hand from Yoshino. You know, sometimes the first round knockout, you look at it, but you don't see the beauty inside of what led up to that first round knockout. And this is just, you know, he's letting his hands go, the punches are landing, he's in the zone, and he, and he loads up on a right hand, and the ref just has no choice but to stop the fight. That was my first viewing of the fight. Now looking back at it, it's a beautiful stoppage. Beautiful, beautiful stoppage. Victory for Yoshino. And did it in great fashion. Uh, what weight class is this? Guys, do you know which weight class this is? Because even I am stumped. This is the Japanese lightweight title. It's happened February 8th. The Japanese lightweight. That means this is uh this is uh this is Lomachenko's division? Lomachenko's old division? 100 if this is 130 pounds. Oh, is that is fight at lightweight? So this is 130 pounds. Is there a killer in the lightweight division? Nah, the winner is 6-0. Four KOs. Shuichiro Yoshino. Out of Japan. And already turning into a knockout artist. 6-0, four KOs. That's a pretty good start. Um, yeah, you can't fight news. Y'all know what it is, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Yoshino. Brilliant effort there. Got the knockout. Um, Saito just couldn't take those shots, man. He couldn't take those punches. And also breaking news. For those who don't know, Naoya Inoue. He's going to be facing a Jamie McDonald. Uh, and that, that signed, sealed, and delivered... I'm not sure what the date is, so let's find out. Y'all know what it is, he can't fight news. Let's check this shit out. Naoya Inoyu, the showdown is being finalized. Just give me a second. Yeah, Inoyu's moving up to 118 pounds. And it's, is it Eddie Hearn? Eddie Hearn is the one that's, that's involved in this deal. With the Jamie McDonald and Naoya Inoue fight.
The fight would take place in Japan, where it could attract a healthy gate due to Inui's uh, popularity over there. McDonald adds to the local intrigue as he's already acquainted with the Japanese boxing community. Um, and apparently he's fought over there before. And Eddie Hearn is involved in this matchup. How about that? That's very intriguing. That of all of all the promoters out here in the sneaky ass world of boxing, it's Eddie Hearn that's helping put that fight together. And y'all know what it is. E-King Fight News. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what it is.